Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the Weekly Contest 257, the number of weak characters in the game. So this one is a little bit tricky. You have to, you know, a lot of people got it and you can get it eventually. But the thing that I always think about is invariance, right? Um, and one invariant that you should consider is hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, uh, especially if you like contest problems, come hang out, come chat, and yeah, talk math, talk problems. Anyway... So yeah, so this one, so the first thing that I would consider doing is just, um, there are a couple of ways you can do this, I think. You can probably do some binary search E things, um, but one thing that I noticed um, is that, you know, N is too big for N square algorithms, so you have to do N log N, and you probably cannot do linear time because they're not giving to you in any sorted order. So then the idea here is to sort, right? Because if you sort it in one uh, one dimension, then the other one will become more clear. Um, and what I mean by that is that that um, the way that I think about it is that basically, you know, let's say we already have a sorted thing. Um, let me put, type some stuff out. So let's say you have a sorted dimension. Let's say mm, do we have a. Uh, I wish they have a longer case, just for example. Um, so let's say you have someone like this. I'm going to add a couple more um, numbers and so forth, uh, right? And then now let's say that we sort this uh, by x and then y. So we have one five, four three, four seven. I've skipped one. Um, hmm. And then ten four, right? So what I did is kind of look at this. Okay, now that we sorted, what does this mean, right? That means that, um, you know, and you can ask yourself a number of questions um, in terms of how to get the answer. And for me, I ask myself for each character, is this a, ca a weak character, right? Um, and this allows us to obviously just count them up. And, but what does that actually mean when you say that this is a weak character? This is a weak character... Uh, whoops. This is a weak character if there exists um, an attack and uh, was it attack and defense that's bigger, right? So then now, you know, uh, it took me a couple of minutes. You could watch me solve it live in the contest next. But the idea I have is that okay, if we go for, for it backwards, well, everything to the right of this number, if we sort it by x, right? If we sort it by x. Everything to the right of this number has a bigger x, right? You know, that, that's the definition of sorting. Uh, or it's equal, which we'll talk about in a second. But if it's bigger, then that means that if... Now we just have to look at everything to the right and ask yourself, is there a number defense, the y coordinate, say? Um, is there a y coordinate that is bigger than my y coordinate? And that's basically the, the idea. Um, because in this case... We, we don't even ha care about what numbers they are. We know that the, the, the x values are all larger than 4, right? We only care that the y values are uh, 4 and 8. And of course, 8 is bigger than 4, so we just keep track of 8. And because this 7 is um, smaller than this 8, we know that this is a weak character because we know that the x, ca the x dimension is already smaller and then the y dimension is also smaller. Um, okay. Now let's let's step, you know. Let's pretend that you know this is uh, this is the case for now, right? Um, or let, let's change the the input slightly uh, to say let's change this to six, and then let's say seven is our max to everything to the right. Or no, 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 no. Let's change max five, right? Something like that. It doesn't matter, right? Um, but yeah. So this number is smaller than here. But the question is that if you pre-process or if you process the number in a in a in a and actually now that I think about it, the way that I could have done is I did this. Okay, so I'm going to explain what I did, but you can also and I'll, I'll also explain what I could have done. Um, but yeah, but this is what I did, and this is basically that. Um, this is basically saying that okay. If we naively remove this this number and then replace this with a nine, we check the six and the nine and say, oh, it is weak. But no, you're wrong, right? Because 
the four and the nine, the X coordinate is the same. So the next idea that I have, um, and you kind of see this code now in one place, um, so you can kind of step through it, is that basically I only update this on a new X. So that means that I do not process the nine until all the fours are done. Once all the fours are done, then we process the nine. And for example, by, you know, here, this is no good. This is not a weak character. But then now that we remove all these together, say, uh, now you have a nine as the defense value. And then now you can see that these two numbers are weak, right? So that's basically the idea I have now. Um, that's what I have here. And just to go over it, um, you know, you just, this is what I said. If, if we have a new X, we update the max Y, and then we just do this counting thing. Um, of course, this is going to be dominated by this sorting. So it's N log N. Uh, yeah. Uh, but now that I think about it, there's actually a, a different way that you could do it. You could sort by X increasingly, but you could sort by Y decreasingly. So now instead of, oops, hmm, maybe my mistakes were made. Okay. So let's just say this, right? Let's put in my N log N back. I did a lot of undoes, that's why. Um, so now instead of sorting by X, Y naively, if I sort X decreasingly, let's say I have this, then now you can naively remove them because now you know that everything to the right has a y, bigger y, uh, a strictly bigger x, right? Um, because, yeah, if it has the same x, it has a smaller y, so you don't care about it anyway by definition. So that's basically how I would do it. And if you did it this way, if you just change the sort to... Um, to just sort by x and then negative y... Um, kind of like this, then in that case, you don't even need this thing. You just need, you don't, you don't need this thing. You don't need all this. You just need this. And then this would be your solution, I think. Um, may want to double check that if you're trying at home. But, but yeah, but I think this is okay. Uh, if not, there's a typo and you can fix it. But, uh, but yeah. Um, anyway, so those are the two solutions that I have. Um, of course, this one has the same property. It is n log n. Um, in terms of space, you can say this is linear space because we we uh, we pretend we copy the input away. Um, so yeah, so yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. You could watch me solve it live in the contest next time. Limit I'll be a little sad though. Okay. We don't know what we can do. Okay. Do do. Mm, strictly less than. Okay. Hmm, how do I want to think about this in a good way? 10 to the 4. N squared is going to... Hmm, I feel like I should know this. Go ahead. Okay, so we want to think backwards. Is that the thing? Okay, so going f backwards, we know that the x will, of all the, the x will be smaller, so then now the y. Mm, this is a little bit awkward, but I mean, I feel like I should know this, but it's still a little bit awkward to think about. Uh, I'm also rushing it a little bit because I think I know this bit. Okay, so now looking backwards, we pass the y. We get max y. Hmm. 
and now we go for the x if x is like something like that it's not quite right yet because this is x <coughs> so basically we want to process all these together okay Then we don't process this yet. If x is not equal to last x, then we process all the previous y's. Um, but then we do this first. Okay, so this is not the case. So this. Mm, is this right though? I feel like this is roughly right, but I have to double check. So we pause as well. Okay, so this is. I don't want to eat three minutes for no reason. That's why. Especially at least test some basic stuff. Oh, right, okay, fine. Okay, let's give it a go. Oof, I wasn't confident about this one. Uh, mostly because of the um, type working cases. But okay. This one is two because I have. Why do I have two? Oh, because of this thing? No, that doesn't make sense. So I do one, two. One, two, ship pass. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, I forgot to update last X. Uh. I knew I forgot something silly. Okay, now there's a server error. Maybe it doesn't count anyway. Did I submit it? Internal error? Okay, let's submit it again then. Uh, okay. Come on, please. Okay, what a silly mistake. I knew what I was doing, but I... Eh, what, what a silly five minutes. Okay. Hey, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and come hang out with me. Um, yeah, stay good, stay healthy. To do, help you have a great rest of the week. Hope you had a great contest. Uh, anyway, see you later, and yeah, to good mental health. Bye-bye.